This is Computer Insider, Canada's award-winning television series with Bob Pritchard. This week, we see the advantages of talking back to your computer. We'll see how voice recognition has expanded to a dictation system. Later, we go hands-on with a new software package that analyzes your exercise patterns. This week on Computer Insider. Computer Insider is brought to you by AST Computer. You'll like the way we work. Sharp Electronics. From sharp minds come sharp products. Thank you very much for joining us again this week on Computer Insider. One of the issues that's constantly being raised in the computer industry is how many computers are there really out there in the marketplace? Well, it seems the numbers they've been feeding us are a little bit on the light side in terms of the number of units actually in service. It seems that when the researchers were calculating how many computers were in service, they forgot to add in those small manufacturers, the people who assemble machines in their basements and whatnot. They're now saying that in 1993, they believe there are about 6.9% more units put into service. That would bring the number to 43.8 million. They've also increased the projected number of sales for 1994. They're now estimating we'll have just under 50 million new computers put in service, and that's a lot of machines. Something else I wanted to pass on to you was the market penetration for those little add-in peripheral cards you can get from your computers. They're saying fax modem cards, which are currently the fastest growing segment of the peripheral card market, accounts for about 14% of the marketplace. By the time we get to 1996, that number will be around 32%. As far as LAN cards go, they're estimating them right now to be an 8% market share by 1996, about 20% of the market. The hottest card right now in the marketplace is a RAM card, random access memory card. Currently, it has a 47% market share. Experts say that by the time we get to the end of the century, that'll be down to about 8%. So when you're looking to try and equip your machine with all the right stuff, keep in mind those statistics. We'll keep you apprised right here on Computer Insider. Computer Insider's Industry Insights has been brought to you by QMS, Seamless Network Printing. I suppose it was back in the mid-60s as a high school student that I saw Star Trek for the first time. And of course, the expression, beam me up, Scotty, rings through everybody's ears. The other facet that came out of Star Trek was the ability to talk to a computer and have it understand what we were saying so that it could process the commands for us. Somewhere in the late 80s, I put a voice recognition card into my computer and programmed it with all sorts of wonderful commands. One of them was called format, just a word of caution, don't use the word format in voice recognition. When I was at the recent Comdex show in Las Vegas, I saw the latest implementation of voice recognition. In fact, it's dictation now rather than recognition. So I wanted you to have a look at how far we've come in terms of voice technology on Computer Insider. Okay, Colbox works with voice applications. We're engine independent, so we take the best engines in the industry, take them to what the end users want, whether it's the legal market, the medical market, office industry, or disability market. And we take those applications, we customize them so that you can work with any application in Windows and not have to learn the high learning curve with those applications. You can say something as simple as create a letter instead of function 7, shift this, shift that, control key. You can actually just tell it what you want it to do. Get letter. Next, please. Richard Miner, New Line, 175 Eglinton Avenue. New Line, Toronto, comma, Canada. Next, please. Richard, next, please. Thank you for your note of November 10th, period. I would like to suggest that we meet to discuss the following matters, colon. Item one, network installation. Item two, training for senior management. Item three, customizing your area. Actually working with this system here, our Windows product, you actually have no training involved in startup. When you first start up the system, you have anywhere between 65 and 80% recognition right away. You then just simply do your work with voice application. And when you do that, after it gets to know a little bit about you, it will ask you after about a thousand words, would you like to enroll to get even better recognition? It'll spend 15 minutes asking you to repeat words, and then your recognition goes into the high 90s. I'm looking at about 98% most of the time. 
It was only a couple of years ago that we first reported on the voice recognition technology that was being used on the AS400 series from IBM and how they were at that time anticipating that this kind of technology would be available on our desktop computers. In fact, a few notes for you about using it on your desktop. First of all, more power is better. So if you're using a Pentium-based machine, it's going to respond more quickly than you would, let's say, on a 46 technology. The other thing is, you really have to have a lot of memory in the machine. Minimum configuration in this sort of box would be around 16 megabyte, and believe me, that would be minimum configuration. But the trade-offs, we can now dictate to the computer and have it understand what we're talking about. Speaking about dictating, we've been dictating the news to our fax on demand system, and that's ready, willing, and able for you at the number first listed on your screen. As a point of caution, please do call from your fax machine if you're outside of the metropolitan Toronto area. Also, we'd like to hear from you in terms of what you're doing with your computer. So by all means, drop us a note to our fax mailbox. That's the second number on the screen. Coming up, we're going to be taking you to the world's largest computer show, Fall Comdex, on Computer Insider. If you want to attract more business, you've got to work together. We all have our own special visions of where we want to be and how we want to work, wherever we are. At AST, we build computers to meet your worldview with award-winning... From notebooks to super servers, AST Computer. You'll like the way we work. Today's marketplace demands more information delivered faster than ever before. D-Link helps make that happen. D-Link manufactures network interfaces. D-Link connects computer systems with bridges and routers. D-Link writes network management software. D-Link manufactures computer networking and internetworking products to bring this world closer together. D-Link Corporation. When John Nagy joined CompuServe, he was new at computing and an old hand on the mountain. He joined to get more out of his computer and more out of life. On CompuServe, as on the mountain, there was always something to discover, like the solution to a software problem that wasn't in the manual, or being one of the first to know about that special vacation spot and how to save time and money getting there. The mountain was a source of satisfaction he would never outgrow, in a way a lot like CompuServe. For more information, call 1-800-554-4088. Start with the basics, news, travel, and encyclopedia, and more for just $8.95 a month. Then go beyond for free software and help with hardware and software problems. You'll get more out of your computer and more out of life. CompuServe, the information service you won't outgrow. When we went to Fall Comdex this year, we saw a whole raft of new products in the marketplace, things that were very interesting. And what we're trying to do is to get through the entire show to show you some of the things that we saw that were fun, but unfortunately, given the size of the show, it's impossible to both visit and tape everything that was there. We saw an interesting lounge chair where the computer fit under the chair, and you could put the uh, CPU itself under the footstool and then sit in a very relaxed position with a keyboard on a tray and work from there. We saw some other fascinating products you'll have a look at. Some of them had to do with uh, television, the ability to take your home movies from your video camera and process them through the computer. We saw one device that would act as a, an editing station. It didn't actually put the video through the TV, but what it allowed you to do was to key in various edit points and through a L control system to be able to start and stop your tape decks. At any rate, let's go on to the floor of Comdex and see some of the other products we saw this year. The main benefit of a headset is its ability to give you hands-free communications for multitasking. This is a com one of our retail products. It easily fits on. It weighs about two ounces. Uh, it can fit on either ear and uh, has, a, has the same uh, sound quality or better than your current telephone. So whether you want to have it on this side or the other side, essentially the headset can easily change to fit your needs. Well, this is used for many people in the computer industry as well, for various applications. 
um, as a scan converter, as in the security market, in the teleconferencing market, and the networking market, as well as many home folks you know, who just came here to take a look. We just want to showcase a product. This product is the H72 lightweight headset. It weighs only six grams. Designed in conjunction with Intel's ProShare personal conferencing system, it is designed to be easy on and easy off. For private messaging, or what we call a private uh, audio, or closed audio, I can pick up messages like this. If we were to need a conferencing, we could turn on our speakers and the omnidirectional mic allows us to conference with this particular headset. Basically, morphing is a process where you use a computer to take digitized images and smoothly transform one into another. In this case, we have several celebrity photos. We're transforming David Letterman into Madonna, into Brooke Shields, into Andre Agassi. You do this by matching up the key features on the faces of these people, the eyes and the nose and the mouth, and the one-to-one -one correspondence from one picture to the next one. So it's really very easy to do. You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to paint or draw to be able to do this kind of morphing special effect. And this kind of morphing technology has become very accessible these days. The camcorder on the side is shooting at the live image of what's going on at the show. And then, which is uh, A2. And then the small picture is right now showing the tape which is playing, and it's an A1. And what I can do is I can swap the two pictures. I can position the pictures in any four of the corners. And also, if I want to, I can also freeze a small picture like this. We uh, have developed a system which produces 3D sound from mono, stereo, or surround. Why would anybody want 3D sound? You'll have to listen to a demonstration, really, to understand that. But it brings the sound into the room and away from the speakers. So it sounds like a live performance. What this does is it addresses what a lot of marriages have problems with. It asks questions concerning intimacy, communications, how to get along together, what your people really think that you don't often talk about. And when you answer these questions, it's very, very revealing. The computer is programmed to store the answers, and the doctor has compiled the list that separates and breaks them out and gives you responses, and it'll tell you really what you think deep down in your heart. Uh, it's very, very popular in multimedia. And if you're using a multimedia computer to play a game, the uh, experience is really staggering. Probably the largest single change at this year's Comdex show had to do with the number of interactive CD-ROM titles that were available and what we mean by interactive CD-ROM. First of all, is that the programming is on a CD-ROM, like a CD disk, that you would play through your computer system. By interactive, we mean that the computer system would ask you questions which you would answer, and then through that question and answer scenario, it would take you to various parts of the program so that you could progress. What we saw in this year's Comdex was that this sort of interactive CD-ROM technology is going to revolutionize many aspects of our day-to-day -day life. Obviously, in the educational system, where you put 30 or 35 children into a classroom, and they progress at an average rate, that could be changed to allow the children to take interactive mathematics, geography, history, whatever, and let them progress at a rate more comfortable for them. More than progressing at their rate, the system would identify their strong points and their weak points, so you would have a smooth progression through the system. We also saw interactive games, basically the ability for you to sit down and to determine the course of the game based on decisions that you make. This is a huge leap forward for many of us in the computer industry who are used to basic programs that might occupy 20, 30, 40 megabyte of space. These CD-ROMs in some instances occupy over 600 megabyte of data. Coming up on Computer Insider, we're going to take you to the ultimate sports clinic. Only sharp presentation systems deliver the winning combination. Don't miss your next opportunity. Get the sharp edge from a family of incredibly vivid computer projection panels to our convergence-free LCD projectors. You too can have multimedia presentation power like never before. Up to 16 million colors in computer, video, or combined sharp presentation systems and view the winning combination. Two days until the presentation. Plenty of time to pull it all together. Hi, Marcy. Sorry, the deadline moved up 24 hours. See you in the morning. Looks like a long night ahead. With her AST computer, she'll make it on time. AST computers in support for a winning performance. From notebooks to super servers, 
AST Computer. You'll like the way we work. When John Nagy joined CopyServe, he was new at computing and an old hand on the mountain. He joined to get more out of his computer and more out of life. On CopyServe, as on the mountain, there was always something to discover, like the solution to a software problem that wasn't in the manual, or being one of the first to know about that special vacation spot and how to save time and money getting there. The mountain was a source of satisfaction he would never outgrow, in a way a lot like CompuServe. For more information, call 1-800-554-4088. Start with the basics, news, travel, and encyclopedia, and more for just $8.95 a month. Then go beyond for free software and help with hardware and software problems. You'll get more out of your computer and more out of life. CompuServe, the information service you won't outgrow. Like many people, I was out looking recently to find some applications for around the home. I mean, after all, we're getting into that age where having a little technology to help us out would be really handy. So I was out looking for packages that would help me prepare meals for cooking and other packages that might help me get through my shopping. And I was also looking for a package that would help with physical fitness. I find going out and doing a little brisk skating or walking around the, uh, the lot is pretty handy, but I wanted to get it more organized to be able to, to do the right things in the right way and work myself into a, a more routine exercising schedule. So I was out looking and found a package called Ultra Coach. And what I was hoping for when I picked up the package is it would take my age demographics and whatnot and start to work me into an exercise program. What I found instead was a package that will analyze what you're doing by analyzing your routine against standards through artificial intelligence, which means that the computer looks at what you're doing and works out a probability of what the best exercise packages would be. So without spending a lot of time talking about it here, why don't we fire up the program, step into our demo studio, and go hands-on with Ultra Coach on Computer Insider. When we first load up the program, it starts off with a calendaring screen so that we can put in our activities on a day-to-day -day basis. For ease, we're going to load up a sample file, which is what we've done here. We'll just click on sample and put it into the system. And now the computer will have a whole raft of data to work with. We're going to go across the menuing system so we'll have a better idea of the kinds of functions that we can get within the computer system itself with the package. Uh, what we're going to do here is go through the maintenance list. That would tell us things like replacing tires and how old the bathing suits are and the other tools to do what we're all about. As we move across the screen, across the top up here, we have our standard pull-down menus. And in fact, what we're going to do is go into this menu and work out an exercise program. This happens to be with swimming, and because the program in the sample file thinks that we're an expert swimmer, it's actually recommending that we, uh, we do a lot of swimming, about 1,200 lengths of the pool. As you move across the top of the system, what you'll find is, as I said, it's the standard uh, application architecture that you can pull down the systems and work with it all. What we're doing right now is we're asking the computer to analyze how our, the, how our exercise program has been going and it's going through all the data that we've collected and it's going to produce a chart for us. And that chart will tell us about how many repetitions or lengths and how much time it took at all. So we have a much better visual idea of exactly what's going on. And that's what we're seeing being put through the, uh, through the system here right now. Let's put this system away right now and go back over here to this end of the, uh, of the menuing system. And we can have a look at the Ultra Coach coaching system. And what happens here is the software looks at our past history, our programs, and by artificial intelligence, it makes recommendations about what we should be doing today as part of our exercise program. And in fact, here it is right now. Uh, it's, recommending that, uh, it's recommending I run 21 miles. I think I may have to think this one over for a little bit. Other aspects of the program that are built into it is a magazine section. If we can just uh, put this away and go back up over here to the menu. Yeah, just click on it over here, please. There we go. This is the magazine section. And in the magazine section are a number of articles about how to exercise and, and various sports related information so that you're better informed as to what's going on. At any rate, let's head back over to our studio and talk more about Ultra Coach. I suppose the sad part for the software is that the computer now thinks that I'm an Iron Man out there running around the block and swimming 74 miles. But if you want to do that, you should check first with our Facts on Demand system because we've got the latest computer industry news all set for you. That's the first number on the screen. And please remember, if you're outside of Metro Toronto, 
call in from your fax machine so you're sure to get through okay. Coming up, we'll be meeting with Hugh Morgan, the chairman of Spirit on Computer Insider. Two days until the presentation. Plenty of time to pull it all together. Hi, Marcy. Sorry, the deadline moved up 24 hours. See you in the morning. Looks like a long night ahead. With her AST computer, she'll make it on time. AST Computers in Support for a winning performance. From notebooks to super servers, AST Computer. You'll like the way we work. Today's marketplace demands more information delivered faster than ever before. D-Link helps make that happen. D-Link manufactures network interfaces. D-Link connects computer systems with bridges and routers. D-Link writes network management software. D-Link manufactures computer networking and internetworking products to bring this world closer together. D-Link Corporation. Computer Insider is brought to you by Maxell. From floppy disks and data cartridges to leading edge optical disks, Maxell computer products are 100% tested, certified, and guaranteed. At Maxell, high performance runs in the family. For many years now, I've been using my computer to gather information about the computer industry, vacations, stereos, areas of interest for me. I was very surprised recently to find out that the gathering of information the way I've done it represents only between 5 and 10 percent of all of the information exchanged on all the networks. I also discovered a group called Spirit. Their role in the community is to be spokespeople for a number of information providers. We asked Hugh Morgan, who's the chairman of Spirit, to join us today. Hugh, can you tell us a little bit about what Spirit is? Spirit is the uh, vehicle for promotion of the content partners of the information highway. Uh, in the information highway right now is uh, emphasizing the infrastructure and the, uh, uh, the wires and the, the software that runs it, but we want to make sure that the content providers are well looked after and promoted. Because really, when you, you look at it, once the information highway is built, it's the content that's going to be the important thing that drives the usage of the information highway. Hugh, could you tell us what you see as the advantage to using the information superhighway? Well, today, if you look at the way Canadian businesses use information, uh, I liken it to a fire hose. You've got so much information coming at you from every direction that it's very difficult to net out the information that uh, a company could use to help it grow, for example. Uh, the Spirit Partners are uh, in the business of providing, of taking that fire hose of information and narrowing it down to a very useful trickle of pure liquid gold, if you will, to help companies get the information that they need to, to help them grow. One of the problems that people have relayed to me is the cost of information. People talk about it in hundreds and thousands of dollars per month. Can you tell us a little bit about how you, how you see the costing issue? Well, because information now is becoming much more widely available through the uh, expansion, not only of the information highway outside the company, but also the information highway within companies, making it easy to put more and more people online, I think you'll find that the cost per unit of information is coming down dramatically. Uh, I think in the last three or four years you've seen uh, companies, uh, for example, the Royal Bank, uh, making investments and in making external information available to their employees, and the cost per unit is extremely cheap when you distribute it throughout your entire organization. As we mentioned off the top, Hugh, we've always seen things like CompuServe and America Online as the main information providers, yet we're hearing that's not a right number. Could you tell us who you see as the main providers being? Well, the main information sources are companies uh, such as Dialog. Uh, Dialog has uh, uh, three terabytes of information online, over 400 databases. You can look for uh, everything from patents to uh, trademarks all the way through to online newspapers, um, scientific and technical information. It's a, it's a real treasure trove of uh, online information. And I think that uh, as, as more and more people come online and find what's available, they'll be absolutely astounded at the wealth of information that's available online. Hugh, we hear a lot of talk about the super information data highway, about who's on it and who's not on it, and getting on ramps and off ramps. Could you tell us, do you, do you see yourselves as being part of that super information data highway or the internet? Uh, we are starting to become part of the internet. I think the internet uh, um, is a tremendous opportunity for content companies in the information industry. And uh, we are going to be taking advantage of that. The internet has some growing up to do. I think the internet started really as a, a communication vehicle for the academic community and now it's growing up into a commercial enterprise and uh, we are going to be taking adva full advantage of the internet as it becomes a, a place to do business. Hugh, if we were going to look down the road a bit, 
How do you see this uh, electronic information flow expanding over time? I think what will happen is that the uh, people will not really be aware of logging on to uh, Infomart Online or Dialog or uh, InfoGlobe. What will happen is that people will have access to the information highway through the PC and their local area network and their organization. And uh, what they will see is really a vast shopping market for information. They'll see uh, mosaic uh, home pages, which make it very easy to, to find information uh, just with a click of a, a mouse pressing a button on a, on a home page, and you can follow pointers out to, uh, to the vast databases that are out there. So each uh, company will be vying, in, if you will, for shelf space on the information highway, and it's going to be really a, a true marketer's world where you'll be um, advertising your services, uh, making it uh, really easy for people to find your services on the, uh, the information highway, and uh, generally it'll be a, a very rich world where people will find the information that they want very easily. Thank you very much for joining us, Hugh. Hugh Morgan is the chairperson for Spirit. By the way, if you're thinking about going online and getting information, it's important that you have a modem in your computer. As far as standards go, your entry-level point today is what they call a 14.4 fax modem. The standard that's emerging is the 28.8, so remember to get as much modem throughput as you possibly can when you make your purchase. If you'd like, you can get a copy of our free fax newsletter, we make it available for you each week. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week online. All you have to do is dial into the first number on the screen. That's our fax on demand number. And if you'd like to drop us a note to tell us about what you're doing with your computer system, please drop us a note to our fax mailbox, and I'll get a chance to see what you're doing with your computer technology. Coming up, we'll be having a look at the impact of technology in the employment picture on Computer Insider. This top marketing executive prepares himself for the demands of today's business with his new sharp electronic organizer. He has accelerated to the top through careful planning and organization, but he doesn't keep it all in his head. Instead, his competitive advantage is at hand. Always with him, ready with the information most needed, and sometimes with what's needed most. Sharp Electronic Organizers. If you want to attract more business, you've got to work together. We all have our own special visions of where we want to be and how we want to work, wherever we are. At AST, we build computers to meet your worldview with award-winning products, service, and support. From notebooks to super servers, AST Computer, you'll like the way we work. There's been a lot of ongoing discussion as to why the last recession happened. Is it a result of a change of the money flow, a change in the way we do business? A lot of experts are now coming forth and saying that the recession, in part, was caused by computer-based technology. What's happened in this most recent recession is that jobs that were done by middle management have been eliminated. Basically, the way business used to operate was there was a certain level of management that used to collect the information, correlate it, produce reports and whatnot, and send them off to upper management who would make decisions as to what to do with that information. Because of the introduction of computer-based technology, that kind of gathering function is now being done with far fewer people. In fact, there seems that a, a major number of the layoffs that we have seen have been a result of computer-based technology. For example, if we were to look at September of 1994, we'd see that on a group of seven largest companies in the multinational field, they had just over 52,000 layoffs. We now anticipate that the recession is ending as the October numbers are just about 42,500. The real question isn't what happened in the late 80s and early 90s. It's what are we going to do with the technologies we have now. Computers are here to stay. I think we have to look at technology in a slightly different light. We have to move away from word processing and spreadsheeting and start to expand our use of technology so that it becomes a, a more complete information provider possibly giving us the ability to send out detailed pieces of information to a select client base, possibly being able to do all aspects of the corporation ourselves, from prospecting to closing sales to supplying our customers with quality products. We have to use technology in a far better way if we're going to survive. There are continents of people waiting to move into our market, and technology is the only thing that's going to save us. For Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard. Computer Insider has been brought to you by AST Computer, you'll like the way we work. Sharp Electronics, from sharp minds come sharp products.